welcome to Will's Way. Today we are in the fabulous Atlanta, Georgia at the Taste of Atlanta. Come along with me as we interview some fabulous chefs so we can have good food, good drinks with good people. Let's make it do what it do. For those of you that don't know, the Taste of Atlanta has been here for nine years with over 80 restaurants. It is the largest food festival in Atlanta, so if you'd like to eat, this is the place to be. People from all around the country flooded the streets of Atlanta for the Taste of Atlanta for the different flavors from around the city. Whether you're from Midwest or Middle East, we have something for you. Now y'all know I love wine. Behind us is the VIP cocktail reception area. Let's go in here and see what they have to offer here at the Taste of Atlanta. We're standing here with Robert who? Mandavi. That's right. I'm going <laughs> to uh, give you guys a little history on this wine, so come along as we talk about this. So Robert Mondavi actually founded the winery in 1966 after he came back from a trip to Europe where he tasted some of the greatest wines in the world. Came back to Napa and said, we can make wines this good here in Napa Valley. We can make wines that rival the best in the world. And with that vision, he opened the winery in 1966. It's actually the first winery that opened after Prohibition. He started out with Fumé Blanc and Cabernet, which are the two wines that were really well known for at Robert Mondavi Winery. Okay. The Fumé Blanc, which we're drinking right now, is actually Sauvignon Blanc grapes, but in the 1960s, Sauvignon Blanc had a really bad reputation in America as being very sweet wine. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Mondavi named it Fumé Blanc after the French term Blanc Fumé. So. How many years have you been with the taste? So, this is actually the fourth year that Robert Mondavi has come to Taste of Atlanta. This is the third year with our new set, okay. which is the one featured behind us, and it's actually inspired by the winery. So, we had a crew come in, tour the winery, and really sort of immerse themselves in the experience and they came out of it with this beautiful this. set. And it's nothing, guys, like your own brand. You're making sure branding is very important. It's nothing like it. Mm -hmm. I am so impressed with this. And as we walked through and I said, we've got to go over there. We have Thank got you. to visit the winery. Yeah, it's bringing the winery experience to America. It really falls in line with Mr. Mondavi's vision okay. of educating America. He really wanted to see a bottle of wine on every table. He believed in it. He felt like bringing people together with food and wine was just important and part of everyday life. Great. Guys, maybe you'll see a, a bottle of this wine on our sh on our show set every week. Stay tuned. You'll never know. Thank you so much, and <laughs> I'd love you. Can we give a taste of this? Absolutely. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Viewers, we have did it here at ATL again at the Taste of Atlanta. I want to thank you for watching Will's Way, and I'll see you next week. I'm Kevin Gillespie, and you're watching Will's Way. We're watching Will's Way. Will's Way is a two women in a tripod production.